Good morning again. It is Thursday, April 2nd. Um, and like I mentioned in my read aloud, happy Autism Awareness Day. I'm wearing my blue to show support. Um, so let's get started with our phonics lesson this morning. Um, I have Gianna sent me um, some words um, from yesterday's lesson that have the long A sound. Before I write them on this, on our recording sheet though, on our paper that we started yesterday, I'm going to write them on this orange uh, sheet of paper over here and I will show you why. So all of the words that Gianna sent me all have the long A sound, all right? They all say A, right? They would all have a macron. Where's our vowels? Oh, up here. They would all have a macron over, over the vowels, right? Because they're all going to say their own name. So the first word she gave me is lay. She did stay, play, way, cake, and make. Okay. So the reason that I wrote these words over here that Gianna sent me is because one, they, I mean, they're correct. They all have the long A, but where we write them on this page is going to vary based on their spelling rule. Okay. So let's go back to the spelling rule that we went over yesterday. So the spelling rule, and I'm going to write in blue. So if you're at home doing this with me, if I write in blue, you write too, right? Um, the spelling rule that we followed yesterday were words that had the long A, but that they followed the A consonant E, right? So we have the long A, we have a consonant letter here, and then a silent E at the end. So looking at Gianna's words, okay, which one of her words would follow this spelling pattern? If you said cake, you are absolutely correct, right? And we have cake up here as an example. We did that yesterday, right? So we have cake, good. What's another word that Gianna has that would follow the same spelling pattern, the A consonant E? If you said make, you are correct. So I'm going to write make over here. Mm A K. But I don't stop there. Since I have that long A that I would code with a macron, I need my silent E at the end that I wouldn't hear, right? It's a little closer. So, um, and I'm going to put some other words up here. So these are the words that I got um, from Gianna. So we're going to take her other words and we're going to put them down here in today's lesson, okay? So I have make, cake, snake. Um, how about take? Now, so far, all my words rhyme, right? They all have the same ending. They all have that ache ending. So we have cake, make, take, snake. They don't have to rhyme though, okay? We don't have to write rhyming words. We just have to follow the spelling pattern, all right? So, <clears throat> excuse me, a word that I'm thinking of is a plate, right? So that has a blend in the beginning. So we have l a Plate. Now, snake yesterday had a blend and so did plate. I'm actually going to add those here to our blends chart. All right. So let me get out my green and black. So, okay. so my blend, I would have snake and I would have plate, right? So snake. And plate. Okay. Another one I'm thinking of that has a blend and follows this A consonant E is um, skate. All right, so sk eight, right? Long A. So I put a macron and I don't hear the E. I don't code blends, right? I code digraphs and combinations, but I don't code blends. So I'm going to go ahead and add skate over here too. Sk eight. Okay. Let's see. So we have make, take, plate, skate. Hmm. How about, ooh, 
an, um, another sight word that we have. So not uh, we have make, I believe, as a sight word. At least I know we do on our word wall at school. I think we have it here. Make and also made, right? Made follows that um, spelling pattern. So m a d long a cross out the e. And let's see, made, let's do sake, like for heaven's sake. Sake, there we go. All right, so all of these words follow the spelling pattern of A consonant E. Okay, now for today, and I apologize, I was... When I was making this chart, I mixed up. That's the brown squigglies that you see that I've tried to, to cover up because um, I didn't want to waste a whole piece of chart paper and start all over. So um, if you see those little brown, that's just me trying to cover cover up something, and I didn't have any white out at the house to, to cover it up. Um, all right, so our spelling pattern today, and Gianna's actually already sent us some, some words for this, so I'm going to go ahead and add them today. So um, when we have the long A sound, all right, it can be spelled A consonant E, which you see in these words up here, but we can also spell it A-Y or A-I, okay? And how you would code this is very similar, okay, to you still use a macron, right? Because it's saying A, right? Um, and then over here... And I, I believe you underline these two, too, but I actually, I have to double check that because I'm not positive. That was um, more of like a, I, when I used to teach second grade, and I know that was something we did more in second grade with like vowel teams like this. Um, so I have to double check that. But I do know um, with the AI, so I don't hear the A and the I, I only hear the A. So I do know that I'm going to underline this vowel team. It's a vowel team because these are both vowels and they're teaming up to make one sound, right? Um, so that's why I'm thinking that you do the same thing here. So that vowel team, you underline, put a macron over the A because the A is what I hear and I cross out the I, okay? Um, and I believe that's what, what you would do here too. But like I said, I'm going to double... I'm going to double check this for us. So I'm looking at Gianna's list over here, and I'm seeing some words that she has that will fit right in over here to our um, spelling pattern. First, though, I want you to look at the picture that I drew. So this is a picture of a tray, right? On the tray, I have a glass and a, a little sandwich, but I'm, I drew an arrow pointing to what is holding those items, and that is a tray. So if I sound out t or a, and I'm following this spelling pattern, so let's see. A, and I know I'm following the spelling pattern, right? Tray. Now, let's see. Does Gianna have any words that she sent us that we could put here? I see lay, l, a, and if you have this at home, you're writing with me right now. I see stay, which has a blend, so we have st, a, and I see play. Oh, also has a blend. A. She also did way. All right. I don't have any room. Oh, here, I'm going to add it right down here at the bottom. W, A, Y. I'm running out of space on that page. All right. Now, over here, our A, I. So I tried to draw a picture here of a train. So let's sound out train, but when we get to that A sound, let's keep in mind that this is the spelling pattern we're working with is A-I. So when I hear A in the word train, I'm spelling it A-I, right? So t t t r a I hear A, so I know I'm following the spelling pattern of A-I, mm, train, okay? And then when I code that, I would underline it, the vowel team A-I, put a macron over the A, and cross out the I. Okay. So what I'd like you to try to do today is I want you to um, try to come up with three more words that follow the same spelling pattern. Have someone at home help you. And you know what? If you're not sure what spelling pattern it follows, but you know that it has the long A sound, totally fine. Make a list like Gianna did. Send it to me and we'll try to sort the words tomorrow when we, when we come back. Also tomorrow when we come back for our phonics lesson, 
I'm going to double check what this, um, to make sure that uh, Mrs. Hill is coding the AY um, spelling pattern correctly too. All right, so I will uh, be double checking on that. And just a reminder, I said in my read aloud video that um, I have a, an online training that I have to do for the school district this afternoon, so I will not be doing a math or a writing lesson this afternoon. Uh, but I will be, you know, available. Text me through the dojo if you need anything throughout the day, and I will be back tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is Friday, so um, Nevea from my class has actually picked a book that she would like me to read out loud to you guys tomorrow um, for, for our read aloud. So I will see you um, tomorrow morning. Have a great day.